to talk about Friends you and me quite a while And I can't help but notice The way we ride The way you hold your boy down Looking at you twice like whoa now There's something new between you and I your boy Deshaun, aka Sean Penn, and um, I'm here at Cheek Studios today on uh, Upper Darby. Uh, we have rehearsals, another day of the grind. Uh, I'm here with my big brother Chris Lyons, Lyons Den Music Group. Uh, we did a rehearsal with my homegirl Dawn, she's doing a show uh, this Saturday, and uh, I told her I would help her out on some backgrounds. Uh, I'm also going to do probably three songs myself in the show. and. Uh, you know, we're just getting it together, trying to help her put a show together. And uh, I feel like when it comes to the music, it's not just about doing stuff for yourself, but what other artists can you help out? You know what I mean? How can we all learn from each other? And we learn from every show. So that's the deal. I just came back from New York, had you know a couple meetings up there. And uh, you know, we're just progressing every day. All right. Hey, what's going on? My name is Chris Lyons. I'm the owner and president of Lyons Den Music Group. Lions Day Music Group is a company where we uh, manage the careers of artists. Um, we also do artist development and we promote artists um, from the start of their career clear through. Also do uh, show promotions. So um, I'm involved with the artists from the start of their career clear through. Um, uh, I met uh, Sean Penn about 10 years ago, a little bit over. Um, he was inside of a group. Um, the group uh, was on the verge of a record deal. However, the group was um, not really um, a group that would go to the, to the next level. So that group ended up breaking up before the deal was signed. And we, uh, myself and my partner, Ed Matthews, we retained Deshaun as, um, as a client. Um, when we first met Deshaun, he was actually sleeping on couches in studios um, or on couches of friends. Um, he really had, he left home 
uh, because his dad at the time uh, gave him a choice of either doing music or following, you know, their said religion. And Deshaun really wanted, you know, as, as religious of a guy as he is, he still wanted to do music. So um, he ended up coming to Philly, um, which is a blessing to me and to him because we got a chance to meet each other. And uh, over the course of a, a little bit of time, we formed a trust between the two of us where um, I actually asked Deshaun to move in with me and I would support him as he uh, uh, pursued his music career. So um, we started out really as client, uh, you know, client business owner and we ended up developing a brother-brother relationship. So now that's my little brother. Um, over, the, over time I've watched uh, Sean Penn uh, develop not only as an incredible singer but a songwriter. Um, I remember a time when he did not uh, cut his own sessions in the studio and now he's doing that. Um, he's starting to play keys. I mean, the, the sky's the limit to what this brother can do or will do. Um, the other thing is um, I see Sean Penn as being more than just a musician or an artist. I see him eventually becoming an executive in the industry because he studies the industry from top to bottom. I mean, you can ask him anything about Billboard, the charts, um, why this artist wasn't as successful as they should have been, and he has insight into that because of his, his bad studies in the industry. So it, it, it's a pleasure um, working with Sean every day, you know, him being my little brother, but also, uh, you know, me just being in the industry as well, and the two of us connecting on that level as well. this Saturday so I'm preparing for that about the rollout but I appreciate you guys always checking me out there's gonna be a lot more like I said shout out to One Love Films and uh, my brother for coming out today and uh, yo, I hope to see you soon